Hello and welcome to the 50 second tutorial in the Bootstrap free series. In this part we're going to be looking at the Jumbotron that Bootstrap provides. We'll be using the source code from the sixth part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Jumbotron is basically a lightweight and flexible component that can optionally extend the entire viewport to showcase key content on your website. A lot of time a feature like this will be towards the top of the web page just below the navigational bar, so the nav bar, and it showcase your content. So let's say if you're a blogger, it may showcase your latest um, posts or your most popular posts. Maybe if you're an artist, it'll sh showcase your most popular work, something like that. Chances of you being on a website, you've probably seen some form of a jumbotron. So when we implement it, you'll see what we mean. Bootstrap, like everything else, makes it so easy to implement, so it's not going to take long at all. So let's just open up our HTML file in a text editor. If we scroll down, what I'm going to do is just put it outside. So I'm going to, I'll put it below Hello World actually. You can put it in the row, put it in the column, and actually do that as an extra chance to see what happens. So I'm going to do div, and the div is going to have a class of Jumbotron. Jumbotron, it just sounds like something from Transformers. But either way, uh, Jumbotron, we won't be implementing this. This is already built in, which is great. H1 tag. And I'm just going to, you can put whatever you want. I'm going to say, Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Nick. Can anyone guess where that is from? I was going to put a P tag, and in the P tag, it's going to put Actually, you know what? Mm, it's gonna type into Google random paragraph. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this random paragraph. I'll, I'll, we just want something to put in there. You, know, you can put whatever you want in there. And again, it doesn't have to be this format. You can change the format of the Jumbotron as well. Okay. So below it, we're gonna put another p tag. And what we're going to do is put a, yeah, a class equals button btn primary. Obviously, you can do other buttons as well. And for the side, I'm going to put lg, so which is a large button. I'm going to put a href. I'm just going to make that equal to hash, so it doesn't actually go anywhere. This row is going to be button. And in here, it's going to simply say nothing but learn more. This isn't going to do anything. This is just to demonstrate what the Jumbotron could contain and what it could actually look like. So now that we have this set up, let's just run this in our web browser. There you go. We have our Jumbotron. It's this literally this grey box here with the text and the writing and the button. Even though it's just literally one simple element, which is a grey box, and then obviously the styling, I mean the padding within it, it just makes it look a lot more professional. And if you resize it, it naturally resizes with the grid as well. And like I said, as an extra task, put it within the columns and rows, aka okay, this and this, and just see how it resizes along with them. The next tutorial will cover page headers. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. Not just regarding Bootstrap, regarding anything at all. All the required source code will be in the description as well. To see hundreds of more videos like this one completely free, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.